Hello everyone, so as we have discussed in previous lecture about the interpretation of clinical laboratory tests. In this discussion, I will discuss about the interpretation of clinical laboratory tests part number 2. So, in this lecture, I will discuss about hematological tests and what are the urine analysis. Discuss start number 1, uh, uh, hematology. What is hematology? So, see here, we will do the testing of blood. Now, in the blood testing, there are different, different tests being performed. As it is the study of blood with the relation of health and disease, so there are different tests, means CBC count, uh, complete blood count, where we are trying to find out the levels of RBC, WBC, platelet, there is a brain, uh, there, there is a blood, uh, uh, bone marrow biopsy. So, these type of tests are being performed. First, we will understand how the blood is uh, giving essential role in hemicyte. So, it is transporting vital substances, ions, oxygen and some of the nutrients around the body. That is why it is very important, the level should be properly maintained. Another is helping to control body balance of water yes, and to fight off disease, especially WBC, white blood cells. So, we will do what are the tests here, point number 1, complete blood cell count. I told you previously, complete blood count means, which, which is called as CBC. So, in CBC, RBC is being tested, what are the levels of RBC, hemoglobin, WBC, platelets, the specific test for the platelet also. So, platelet count in this prothrombin time what is the INR, international normalized ratio. This test helps diagnose and monitor bleeding disorders. If the patient is suffering from bleeding disorder, of course, it is disturbed. Another is blood enzyme test. There are some of the enzymes present in the blood. So, they are also being monitored. Another is bone marrow biopsy. As the cells are formed from the bone marrow, so Sometimes what happens, uh, the section, a small section is taken, uh, take, taken from the bone marrow and it is being tested. If there is a damage, of course, the situation occurs such as anemia, thrombocytopenia. Anemia means lowering of RBC levels, thrombocytopenia, lowering of platelet levels, which involves having, as, as I told you, low platelet count situation connected with thrombocytopenia and if the patient is suffering from some of the cancers. So, this is evaluated from the bone marrow biopsy. Another is also for the blood transfusion hematology test is being performed. As we, what we want, the blood groups, what is the blood group of a patient and Rh factor. So, for this uh, hematological test is taken care. Another is hematology reference reviews. So, let us see what are the tests, we will see one by one, hemoglobin, red blood cell count, RBC, another is mean cell volume, what is the size of RBC, which is called as a mean cell volume, then mean cell hemoglobin concentration, means what is the hemoglobin present in each cell, yes, another white blood cell. So, this is called as WBC count. In WBC, white blood cells, there are four types of another cells, four or five types. This is called as differential cells, neutrophil count, lymphocyte, monocyte, eosinophils, basophils, they all are responsible for fighting in infection. Yes? So, if the patient is suffering from any of the infection, the levels fluctuated. Another is called as the platelet count, for the platelet count and another is prothrombin and INR. These tests being performed for checking if the patient is suffering from any of the bleeding disorders. INR is international normalized ratio in which we are taking the ratio of the prothrombin levels. Yes. So, the, the levels are different for males and females and these are the, the units. Now, 
will see RBC levels, why they are deviated, what are the reasons associated with low levels, what are the reasons associated with the high levels. So, we will do this. RBC is red blood cell, means if the RBC is less in number, yes, so what are the reasons, what are the reasons associated with this condition? If the patient is suffering from bleeding, if the patient is suffering from anemia, in this situation we can see low, low level of RBC. The patient is suffering from malnutrition, patient is not taking diet, the RBCs are distracted, yes, there is a lysis, there is a destruction in RBCs. If erythropoietin deficiency, because erythropoietin is responsible for RBC formation, leukemia, yes, the patient is suffering from cancer, thalassemia, the patient is suffering from one of the, this is one of the inherited disease in which the RBC levels are low. Sickle cell anemia, cell, uh, the, the, there is a, uh, a change in the shape of the cell and that is why the, the cells are not working properly, yes. Another could be the reason for the high, if there is an increase of RBC levels, what happened? The reasons are dehydration, yes. The patient is taking cigarette or patient is taking alcohol. At the time, RBC will be high and not only uh, uh, with RBC, if the patient is taking cigarette or alcohol, the levels of RBC, the level of HCT, hematocrit, platelets, all type of other cells, they all increased and that is why they are responsible for causing cancer, yes. So, cigarette smoking, congenital heart disease, a patient is suffering from these conditions. The patient is suffering from the fibrous, fibrous formation which is in pul uh, lungs. Patient is suffering from kidney cancer and there is a cancer in which the RBC levels got increased which is called as a polycythemia vera. These all conditions are associated with high level of RBC, yes. If there is a increased level of RBC, what are the conditions associated? Another is the HCT, means hematocrit count, yes. In the hematocrit count means how much RBCs are present in per ml of a blood. So, this is also we can see connected with the low, similarly for the high, when there is a low level of the HCT, the patient is suffering from overhydration. The patient can suffer from the nutritional deficiency. Patient is with the blood loss. The reasons could be same with the RBCs and SCTs because SCT is the number of RBCs in per ml of a blood. If the patient is suffering from bone marrow suppression because these, this is responsible for the formation, formation of RBC. The patient is suffering from lead poisoning, leukemia. Similarly, we can see for the high. What happens if there is a high level of SCT? We can see the patient suffers from dehydration. If there is a low level of oxygen, at that time what happens as a feedback mechanism when there is a lower level of oxygen? So, at that time as a feedback mechanism RBC number will be increased because if the RBC number will be increased, there is a transport, the transportation capacity of the oxygen will increase. So, as a feedback mechanism, RB, uh, the RBC number got increased and there will be high HCT hematocrit count. Cigarette smoking, I told you the reasons previously. There is a cancer, polycythemia, where in this cancer, the RBC level will increase, HCT will rise. The person suffering from tumors, the RBC is accumulated, the tumors formation is there, lung disease is there. Erythrocytosis means the increased levels of erythrocytes. So, in this condition, there is a high HCT. Similarly, MCV means mean corpuscular volume. So, mean corpuscular volume means what is the size of RBC. So, the size either increased or decreased. Here for the low means microcytic, the size is, it, size is decreased. Microcytic means the size is small and it occurs due to the iron deficiency anemia. If the patient is not taking iron or the patient is deficient with the iron, the patient is suffering from thalassemia. In this condition, RBC size is very small, yes. Another condition called as macrocytic. Macrocytic anemia, mean corpuscular volume. In this condition, the cell size is increased. So, 
Macrocytic anemia occurs due to two of the deficiency. What are these? Vitamin B12 or folate deficiency. If the patient suffering from vitamin B12 deficiency or folate deficiency, the patient in the patient we can see the size of the RBC is increased or the patient is suffering from hemolytic anemia. In this condition also the size got increased. Liver disease, alcoholism, yes. Another is MCHC, mean cell hemoglobin concentration, how much the hemoglobin is present in each cell. So, the reasons could be correlated here. If the concentration of uh, hemoglobin is less in the cell, of course the size is low, yes, low MCV. If the RBC is small, the concentration of hemoglobin will be small. Similarly, for the other, uh, uh, for the high, uh, high MCHC, what are the reasons? Opposite we can see high MCV means the size is very large. The size is large, of course the hemoglobin will be high. If the patient is suffering from autoimmune hemolytic anemia, yes, means RBC is destructed. Burn patient, the patient who are suffering from burning or any of the injury at the time the concentration of hemoglobin will increased. Other is RBC. RBC is responsible for fighting towards infection in a patient. So, we can see the, if the patient is suffering from any autoimmune disorders or any of the viral diseases or bacterial disease, any of the infection, bacterial infection, any of the therapy, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, WBC levels will low. Yes. Similarly, we can see at the time of infections also our WBC levels will be high as a feedback mechanism. Yes. So, infections if the patient is taking cigarette or alcohol at the time also WBC level will be rise in the patient. Leukemia, inflammatory disease, patient is suffering from any of the infection at the time what happens at the late, later stage as a feedback mechanism WBC levels will be rise. Yes. Another is the platelet. So, in the platelet levels we can see if the patient is suffering from any virus, aplastic anemia means a cancer, this is a form of cancer, leukemia, this is also cancer, alcoholism, yes, patient is taking a lot of alcohol, vitamin B12 or folic acid deficiency, this is there in a patient, systemic lupus erythematosus, this is the autoimmune disorders, in the hemolytic anemia, uremic condition, the, uh, uh, the RBCs are destructed and DIC, if the uh, platelets are coagulated in vesicles, vasculitis, vessels are inflamed, is all these conditions what happen, the platelet level is lower, yes. In the another scenario we can see when the platelet levels are rising, in the cancer, if the, uh, the platelets are high, of course there can be a condition such as cancer. Another is allergic reaction, patient is suffering from any allergic reaction, any cancer, polycythemia varia, what happens in polycythemia varia, the uh, varia, what happens, the RBC levels, the WBC levels, the platelet levels, all these cells increased, yes, spleen removal, this happens uh, at the time uh, because when there is a removal of uh, spleen due to surgical trauma, what happens in a patient, there is a There is an immediate increase of platelet levels. Now, another test is the urine analysis. So, in the urine analysis, we are detecting the diseases or any of the symptoms by taking the sample as a urine. So, urine analysis is a series of tests on urine. So, the signs of the common conditions are seen and diseases, if any, related with a test done on the urine. Urine analysis is one way to find certain illnesses. Yes, as we have discussed in previous slides that we are taking the blood sample and try to find out the, uh, the any, any diagnosis is there. Yes, the patient suffering from any of the infection, any of the disease. So, 
uh, on the basis of uh, blood sample it is taken and similarly fr uh, from the urine sample uh, the, the any, any disease can be checked such as kidney disease if the patient is suffering from liver disease the patient is suffering from diabetes on the levels of glucose yes and sometimes urine analysis is also used as a part of pregnancy checkup. Normal values we will discuss what are the parameters we are discussing. Point number one we see the color of the urine. So, it is usually yellow sometimes it is seen dark or deep ember yes. Another is the clarity of the urine sample. So, clarity or turbidity we call it should be clear if it is cloudy there are some reasons associated with it. It could be due to the infection yes. Another is pH, pH is al also seen which is as we are talking for the normal values it should be 4.5 to 8 yes. If there is acidity there are some reasons for it yes of course the pH will be less than it should it will be less than 4.5 yes. Similarly, if there is a basicity it is more than 8 yes there are different treatments for it also and then there is a specific gravity normal values of 1.005 to 1.005 yes and then there is a glucose it should be less than 130 mg per day ketones levels should not be there uh, because um, as they are also the sign of the any of the disease. So, ketones, nitrites, leukocyte, esterases and bilirubin it should be negative yes for the normal as a normal values. Another is the euro bilirubin this is the product from from the bilirubin. So, it should be in the small amount and the values are 0.5 to 1 mg per deciliter. Blood cells will talk the RBCs. So, these cells should be less than or uh, equivalent to 3 whereas for the protein it should be less than or equal to 150 mg per day yes. If their levels are high of course their chances of the kidney damage because proteins are usually not filtered out but if it is and the levels are seen in the uh, urine sample of course their chances that the filtration unit are not properly working or they are damaged. So, protein levels are high at the time of kidney damage or kidney disease. RBCs should be less than or equivalent to 2. For the WBC we can say the level should be less than or equivalent to 2 to 5 WBC. This levels will be seen in the time of infection. If the patient suffering from any of the infection or severe infection. So, WBC levels are seen the higher levels are seen in the blood sample whereas, the RBCs and blood both they are seen when there is an internal bleeding yes. Another is squamous epithelial cells these cells are the, for the normal values if you see it should be less than or equivalent to 15 to 20 yes. If it is more of course, there is a damage to any um, any organ we can say or uh, if the kidney is damaged these cells will be seen the higher levels will be seen in the urine sample. Another is the cast. So, these cast are the accumulation of cells and the accumulations of cells, the cells are could be the RBC, WBC or platelet. So, these cells should be less than the accumulation, this cast oh, we are calling of, it should be less than uh, or it should be uh, not more than 5. Another is the crystals. So, sometimes the crystals also seen, there are some cr uh, calcium crystals are seen at the time if the patient is suffering from stone, yes. So, they are occasionally. Another is the bacteria. Bacteria and yeast should not be there in a normal one. Why? Because they are also the sign of uh, any disease or infection. 
another is the sum of test one is visual examination microscopic and lipstick test these are the tests being performed on the urine sample so first test is called the visual examination in this examination what happens we are seeing the urine and we will try to find out the color and clarity color should be yellow as the normal values we have uh, seen and the clarity should be uh, uh, clarity should be the urine should be clear if it is cloudy there are reasons I told you so the color in the point number 2 read, re, red or brown color urine may be due to color or sometimes some drugs are also there if the patient is taking any drug for any treatment sometimes what happens they are also giving color so it can also uh, due to these drugs another is the cloud uh, if the turbidity or the uh, clarity is cloudy so it may cause of infection yes this is uh, seen by visual examination another is the microscopic examination in this what happens we are seeing RBC levels red blood cells if it is higher there are reasons there is an internal bleeding if WBC is higher of course there is an infection in patient if bacteria are seen of course the patient is suffering from any of the bacterial infection crystals there are sometimes clump of minerals yes and these are the sign of kidney stone so I told you in the previous slides also in microscopic examination these four uh, three four point can be seen other is the dipstick test this test is very popular so in this test there are uh, many points can be discovered and these points are see things the dipstick test can be checked what are these tests first is the acidity the pH yes and these tests uh, these tests are done on the basis of colors I will show you in the next slides how these colors are interpreted and what these colors are actually means of so acidity and pH if the pH is low means there is acidity so could be a signs of kidney stones and the patient can be suffered from any of the such as urinary tract infection protein I told you protein usually uh, don't filtered out but if it is then there is a problem with a filtration unit nephrons are not working properly if there is a damage in the nephrons so signs of kidney dysfunction if another condition is glucose so uh, uh, we are also taking if uh, the patient is suffering from diabetes the ketose levels are high in the uh, in the urine sample and this is also the sign of diabetes WBC cells are also seen by the dipstick test and WBCs are responsible for uh, of course fighting with the infection and if their levels are increased these are the signs of infection or any of the inflammation then there is also one of the tests which is called nitrite test and these nitrite levels are seen in the dipstick test these levels are rising at the time of any bacterial infection some of the bacteria such as a gram negative bacteria so they usually convert nitrate to nitrite if the levels of nitrites are increased of course they are the reasons for for bacterial infection then bilirubin is also checked in it yes if the bilirubin level is high of course there are the chances the patient is suffering from jaundice the patient is suffering from hemolytic anemia another is the blood in the urine so blood could be uh, in the urine the reasons could be bleeding this is the dipstick test so how this test is being performed basically this test uses a thin plastic strip this is the strip yes so this thin plastic strip is treated with the chemicals and when this strip is dipped in the urine sample the colors will be like this and these colors are interpreted like this so for the leukocyte the color is this and if this color is seen this means increased concentration of leukocytes and they are as they are the WBC so increased levels of WBCs are showing infection yes for the nitrite the color is this yes urobilirubin so similarly we can see for the others so these colors are interpreted and I told you in the previous slides also so we'll do one by one how how they are for the nitrite as I told you they are for the bacterial infection there are some of the bacteria which are converting nitrite to nitrite 
and if this color is seen, so we call it as the patient is suffering from bacterial infection. There is another urobilino uh, gel. So this is the product which is formed from the uh, uh, which is formed from bilirubin. So if there is an increased bilirubin, of course this product will be high in the urine. Another is the protein. If the protein levels are high, of course the patient is suffering from any of the kidney disease and in this kidney disease, the patient filtration system is not working properly. Yes? Another is pH. Yes? This pH is for the normal values we have seen, it's 4.5 sum to the 8. So, if there is an acidity, of course the levels are low, it is less than 4.5. So, acidic urine can be caused by the kidney disease and for that alkalizer are sometimes given to the patient, yes. Similarly, if there is the, uh, the pH is high, then at the time what happens, acidifier is given to the patient. Another condition is called, uh, an, another condition we can see if the blood uh, is high in the urine, if blood is seen in the urine sample. So, this is also one of the cause when there is a bleeding or there is a damage in the kidney or the bladder, yes. Specific gravity is high at the time when the content or the concentration is increased, yes. The ions present in the urine sample are more and there are many reasons for it. Another is the ketone, ketones levels are usually associated when the patient is suffering from diabetes. Bilirubin, the color is this and this bilirubin is showing the patient is suffering from liver damage because bilirubin is a product which is formed from, from inner liver. Another is the glucose, so glucose can also be checked in the urine sample and it should be less than 130. Mg. If it is more, the patient is suffering from diabetes or suspected with diabetes. I hope you all got about the hematological testing and the urine analysis. Thank you so much everyone.